Hello, we will be discussing in this lecture about the post-insertion complaints in complete prosthodontics. Complete prosthodontics. Well, usually the complaints either they are immediate when the dentures are being inserted at the time of the delivery of the dentures or they could be after some time the patient will come back with some complaints or there will be some problems but patient is not having any complaint or patient doesn't feel that there is a pain or something so we will discuss all those in detail most of the complaints which are associated with complete dentures are actual and those are not psychological like most of the dental students especially whenever they feel that the they are not able to satisfy the patient and they are not able to insert the dentures properly and patient is complaining again and again they think that patient has some kind of psychological problem and of course some of the clinicians they also think in the same direction well again another uh, misconcept is that the age, aged patients they have more complaints as compared to the younger patients but that is not correct there was no statistically significant relationship between the patient's age even the gender usually <clears throat> some of the clinicians they say oh the female uh, elderly patients they have more complaints as compared to the male patients or whatever then systemic health and then like there is no any uh, correlation between the systemic health and the denture complaints but statistically significant relationship exists between the types of denture denture faults and the complaints well recall appointments after the insertion are very very important it is not that you just inserted the denture and then you just say goodbye to your patients that is not the actual way of practicing complete denture prosthodontics or even removable prosthodontics i must say that not even for the even fixed uh, prosthesis no matter they are on uh, placed on the uh, natural dentition or on the implants well eliminate the problems being faced in wearing of the dentures always listen examine and then treat it is not that patient comes to your clinic and you just take their denture and you start grinding it or trying to fix the problem no firstly listen then see whatever they are telling you if you can see anything intraorally, are there some, some kind of signs of that specific problem they are related to uh, insertion of denture and then only treated. Because if you will grind the denture, it would be very difficult for you to get that portion back. And maybe it will lead to some more type of complications. Well, after 24 hours of insertion of the dentures, oral examination and treatment is important. Recall the patient after 24 hours, listen to their problem, whatever they felt after the 24 hours uh, post-insertion, and if any treatment is required, then treat that. Visual and digital examination of oral cavity should be done, then you have to recall after one to three days post insertion and perform the adjustment if it is required. Well, this is the critical period. And then keep your patient on the periodic recall three to four months for the difficult patients and 12 month interval for most of the patients. Well, the denture requirements are that it should be compatible. It must be restoring the occlusion it must be restoring the aesthetics and the function there should be harmony aesthetics should also be restored and they should be preserving the rest of the oral structure especially the residual ridge 
Principles of diagnosing the danger problems. Never adjust unless you identify the location. Well, that is why you need to use the pressure indicating paste or indelible marker or the articulating paper. This is not the right way of placing the uh, indicating paste, pressure indicating paste or PIP. This is insufficient material. It is way too thick. It is not going to disclose anything because we call these pressure indicating paste or we call these uh, the disclosing paste. This is the right way of placing it. Here we can see when the tissue is not coming in contact, we will see the streaks of the pressure indicating paste. When there will be proper uh, contact of the tissue with the denture, it will be like this. And if the denture is overextended and it is impinging, then you will see no paste in that area. Well, especially in the first few appointments, especially the first 24 hour appointment, you can even use the indelible marker to locate the area patient is saying that I am having pain in that area. But usually patients are wrong in exactly locating the source of problem. Well, always spend time to look and these are the basic principles of diagnosing the denture problems. Ask where it is impinging or where do you feel the problem or where there is a pain. You need to locate that area using the disclosing paste or tip of the instrument or using the indelible pencil or marker. Ask them when does it hurt. Does it hurt all the time or it hurts during chewing only or whatever? How long does it hurt and since when it is hurting? Anything makes it better or worse? If patient has demonstrated the problem, it's okay. If not, definitely you have to locate it yourself as well. How we classify these post-insertion denture problems? Complaints about the comfort of the denture. There would be certain sore spots, burning sensation, redness, pain in the TMJ, tongue and cheek biting, swallowing and sore throat, nausea and gagging, deafness, fatigue of the muscles of mastication. Deafness as well as tinnitus. They can also say that we feel some ringing in our, eye, uh, in our ears. That could be another complaint. So complaints could be either loose dentures, discomfort, poor appearance, or they could be miscellaneous types of complaints. Complaints about the function of the denture. They may say that it is not properly fitted and it is unstable. Check out firstly for the interferences. They could be during swallowing. There could be clicking sound due to interferences, then complaints about the aesthetics. They will be complaining about the fullness under the nose. Most of the patients who were edentulous for a very long duration, they always complain about this thing. Well, if it is within the physiological limit, then try to explain them. And even before you start the treatment, tell them that the fullness is going to be there. If it is not aesthetically pleasing and if it is like uh, uh, out, out of proportion thickness in that area, then definitely you have to take care of that. There would be chances of depressed philtrum or nasolabial sulcus as well. The upper lip may appear sunken and too much of the teeth exposure is another problem with most of the patients or they will complain that teeth they give an artificial look some of the patients they will be having complaints about the whistling sound when they are trying to say certain words which are starting from s 
there would be lisping sound when they are starting some word with the uh, letter s or their th and t sounds would be indistinct at times t sound could uh, t, like the t words they may sound like you are saying th then f and v sounds they may also be indistinct so whatever the situation we have to uh, rectify that situation rectify that problem according to sherry there are certain frequent complaints excessive bulk speech difficulties masticatory shortcomings insufficient retention mucosal irritation unattractive appearance and there are certain uncommon complaints like whistling earache food under the denture nausea and gagging dislodgement on sneezing tingling of the lower lip dislodgement on drinking burning sensation of mouth drooling at the corner of the mouth inability to chew with equal vigor on both the sides rough and sharp surfaces dull teeth difficult swallowing halitosis noisy teeth loss of taste sensation dry mouth saliva under the dentures cheek lip and tongue biting or having a peculiar type of taste all the time according to a a grand post insertion problems can be broadly grouped into looseness of denture that is decreased retentive forces or increased displacing forces then discomfort associated with dentures which are related to impression surface of denture related to the occlusal surface related to the polished surface and related to the possible systemic association there would be support problems problems associated with retention and instability and other dis difficulties like noise on eating and speaking speech problems eating difficulties altered taste sensation and gagging or nausea danger complaints in relation to time of delivery as i told you earlier there could be some immediate complaints like when the you are just inserting patient will tell you that i feel pain here there or anywhere then delayed complaints and problems without any complaints presentation of patient with complaints there are two types of patients one patient is the informed patient with possible problems and then there would be an uninformed whom you never told in the beginning what they must expect from this new denture according to their situation they will be having sense of pain sense of loss like wastage of time and money and a sense of deceit as well they will lose confidence in you well causes for the post insertion problems inaccuracies in various denture construction steps well one is border molding in open mouth technique vertical dimension and support to the muscles there will be reduced force and over extended flanges in that case jaw relation records there could be chances of inaccurate record bases flabby and displaceable tissues the reasons why we will be having the jaw relation problems use of existing dentures for their vertical and for their centric excessive or unequal pressure then patient inability to give the proper registration due to any reason your uh, technician your assistant or you yourself not mounted the upper and lower models correctly record bases were not properly seated interference in the heel region occlusal rims not properly keyed in correct orientation position laboratory processing it also changes uh, the occlusion a little bit there would be some other problems as well like teeth would be displaced incomplete flask closure chances of overheating or chances of warpage when you open the flask before time then distortion may occur there would be main complaint of pain 
that is due to overextension of borders, poor fitting or rough surface dentures, error during impression making, incorrect centric relation or chances of cuspal interferences. Excessive vertical dimension, it also leads to pain, uneven occlusal balance and anterior contact at centric relation, inadequate relief to the prominent genial tubercles and mylohyoid ridges as well. Discomfort symptoms would be pain, altered sensation and difficulty in chewing as well as in swallowing. Well, you can temporarily relieve the problem using the chair side relining material. Treatment. Pain on eating, there would be premature contacts and lack of occlusal balance. Use the articulating paper to identify the offending area. There would be pain or ulceration lingual to the lower anterior ridge, maybe centric relation and maximum intercuspal position. They do not coincide. In one of the lectures, I told you that in complete dentures and in long span partial dentures, the centric relation and centric occlusion, they must coincide. So there would be a slide from the centric relation to maximum intercuspal position, which will definitely cause a lot of pain. So selective grinding to correct this situation would be advised. Here we can see teeth are too long, teeth are almost in an end-to-end -end relationship and here we can see increased buckle over jet. So we have to correct accordingly. Pain and ulceration on the labial aspect of lower ridge and incisive papilla there would be chances of an undercut or sharp acrylic within that area. Trim the labial aspect of lower anteriors. Excessive vertical dimension. If it is increased greater than 2 mm, then it is always advisable to remake the dentures. Biting of the tongue. Usually it is due to teeth which are placed quite lingual to the lower ridge. Decrease in tongue space or the trunk is going to be cramped in the and patient is not accustomed to the uh, the situation or they are accustomed to the old dentures if they are already a denture wearer. So uh, the, another chance would be changes in the occlusal level as well. Reduced occlusal level from here to here. What would be the treatment? Remove the lower lingual cusps or reset and rearrange the teeth. Cheek biting. It is usually due to insufficient overjet in the posterior region, very lax cheeks or reduced vertical dimension. So treatment, first of all, increase buccal overjet and plump the denture, remove the last molars, another option, grind the buccal surfaces of the lower posteriors. That is another option. So there are three options depending upon the situation. Reasons for a loose denture. Posterior palatal seal is not successfully made. Lingually placed posterior teeth, another reason. Labially placed mandibular anterior teeth and dryness of mouth. Occlusal disharmony or occlusal discrepancies. Inaccurate impression making. Rocking, tilting dentures due to poor retention nodules of acrylic, faulty impression, poor processing techniques, all these also contribute towards the looseness of the dentures. Dentures could be underextended. Like over here we can see this is an underextended denture. This is the correctly extended denture into the sulcus. So sulci should be properly covered by the denture base. Here we can see not properly covering the area. This is how it should be covering the area in the upper denture. Under extended borders. This is not the way that you are just putting it on. Yes, the ridge is very severely resolved, but this is not the right way of placing the denture. Posterior palatal seal area. It could be underextended, there will be looseness of the denture, overextended, it become loose while patient is talking, insufficient depth, depth they will become, uh, like there will be looseness while they are eating. And if you have carved it too deep, 
then patient will be having uh, gagging. Causes of poor fit, deficient impression, damaged cast, warped dentures or over the adjustment of the impression surface. Treatment of the lack of seal, under extended borders, you firstly go for soft tracing compound, incorrect posterior palatal seal, correct deplacement of the border, in elasticity of the cheeks, incremental border molding should be done and perform the functional movements while you are registering the uh, peripheral seal area. Well, air beneath the impression surface, if air is trapped, what should we do? Reline the denture either, remake the dentures, or create a rotational path of insertion in case of some unilateral undercuts. Usually, some of the unilateral undercuts, they also aid in retention. We do not need to remove those, but we can go for the rotational path of insertion. Well, dry mouth or xerostomia there would be chances of either presence or absence of the glandular function at all. Artificial saliva substitutes are one of the uh, options to treat such a situation. Then sucking on the sour candy, intermittent sips of water can be taken or you can give them pilocarpine hydrochloride. Poor neuromuscular control. What should we do in that case? The polished surfaces should occupy the neutral zone. We have already discussed it in our lecture on complete denture. You can also go for the denture adhesives in that case. Overextended borders, we have already discussed that you can use the pressure indicating paste or the disclosing paste and wherever the borders are overextended, then you can trim it accordingly. Faulty aesthetics unrealistic expectations number one the, that is the major problem patient think that they will look very very attractive after having the dentures and when they look into the mirror if their expectations are way too high then definitely the problem starts so it, again you have to educate them during the construction of the denture and especially when they come for the try-in at that time tell them that your complete dentures are going to look like that over supported or under supported dentures altered vertical dimensions these are also reasons for the faulty aesthetics insufficient excessive tooth visibility like over here just like the gummy smile in natural dentition it can be due to improper orientation of the occlusal plane or maybe vertical dimension was not correctly registered. Labial, labiolingual and labiopalatal positioning of anterior teeth. Difficulty to correct the appearance without remake. It is very difficult to correct it. You have to remake the dentures. Creases at the corner of mouth. Again, it can be due to decreased labial fullness or decreased vertical dimension. You have not registered the vertical dimension correctly. May require either remaking of the dentures, important to verify and take the patient consent for aesthetics at the time of trying, which I have already mentioned. Defective speech, increased vertical dimension, then deficiency of palatal contour, poor posterior palatal seal area, thick lingual flanges or restricted tongue movement, incorrect positioning of the anterior teeth, thick acrylic at the palatal area. All these are contributing towards the defective speech for a complete denture wearer. Tooth position, instability, teeth are not placed over the ridge, difficulty in chewing, occlusal table is not long enough, and cheek and lip biting insufficient anterior or posterior overjet. In case of an insufficient anterior overjet, patient will be having lip biting. In case of insufficient posterior overjet, patient would be having cheek biting. Then, if you are going to place the teeth off the ridge, what is going to happen? There will be a leverage, which will definitely 
displacing the denture and further the teeth are off the ridge the more mechanical advantage a force places on the dentures to dislodge it we can see the amount this is the ridge the more you are going to place it away the farthest there will be more mechanical advantage and dentures are going to be displaced tooth position aesthetic phonetic problems they may have to change position of the teeth in that case in efficiency or inefficacy of the dentures, discrepancies in vertical dimension and the centric relation or teeth may have now worn off, so worn out dentures. So you have to remake the dentures. Or maybe you are using zero degree posterior teeth, lack of occlusal balance, occlusal plane would be maybe at a higher level. Another complaint is nausea and gagging, overextended posterior limit of maxillary denture, which I have already told you that if there will be very uh, deep, and uh, uh, like you have engraved or you have carved the posterior palatal seal area very deeply, or it is overextended, patient would be having nausea and gagging. Thick posterior borders or loose denture, and uncommon belief well that could be another thing that whenever i'm going to place anything in my mouth maybe i will feel nauseous and i may gag occlusal problems anterior and posterior premature contacts maximal intercuspal position not coinciding with the centric relation position patient is unable to control the mandibular movement one reason and there could be chances of very uh, you can say resorbed ridge or poor ridge position or you have used non anatomic teeth that could be another reason lack of occlusal balance it would be due to incorrect plane of occlusion dentures they move while eating commonly associated with the large tuberosities so in that case removal of the second molar may help occlusal errors how to treat suspected when patient complains that dentures they become loose after a few hours of wearing also when a collection of calculus is seen on one side of the denture only you can go for clinical remounting it is better if you do the remounting outside and adjust it outside the patient's mouth the reason is you will be having a better view of occlusion reduced patient but you can just uh, do it in your like absence of patient a stable foundation without shifting the bases absence of saliva so you can have accurate markings reduced clinical time and adjustment appointments so what should we do when we are going for the uh, flasking before that it is always advisable to make the remounting jig or index and then using the this uh, you can uh, mount the upper denture using that remounting jig or index and then taking the new maxillomandibular relationship using the vex uh, sheet as the and uh, registering the bite which we call registering the bite you can uh, articulate the lower denture and then any uh, prematurities they can be uh, taken care of by selective grinding well if you forgotten to uh, make the remounting jig or remounting index then you can go for a fresh facebook record using the denture and then uh, mount the upper denture on the basis of that facebook record and then take the bite using the wax sheet while the dentures are in patient's mouth uh, and mount the lower denture using that centric, the new centric or new maxillomandibular record and then grind accordingly. So here we can see intraoclusal records for verifying centric relation. You can take the new maxillomandibular relation and you can mount the lower denture on the basis of new maxillomandibular records and then the selective grinding fibrous hyperplasia continuous wearing of ill-fitting denture usually it is painless microbial infection may occur which would be definitely candida 
poor oral and denture hygiene maintenance was one of the contributory factor diabetes and oral habits are also contributory factors long term antibiotics or steroidal treatment they may also contribute towards the candidal infection under the dentures costin syndrome costin syndrome is a term used to describe the functional and structural changes that occur involving the temporomandibular articulation causing a variable symptomatology including heavy cranial pain and masticatory disturbances that would be due to prolonged overclosure deafness and tinnitus would be there tenderness over the tmj dryness of the mouth neurologic symptoms may be burning sensation of tongue throat and headache uncommon complaints whistling it is due to high vault palate earache due to tmj problem food and saliva under the denture may be deficient of borders loss of taste well tell your patient educate your patient that definitely some of the alteration of taste sensation would be there there when they are going to start wearing the complete dentures that is due to uh, the uh, free nerve endings which are uh, required for the spicy taste and for the umami taste they would be covered by the denture bases cheek biting lack of horizontal overlap which we have dis discussed or due to decreased vertical dimension or buccal placement of teeth drooling of the saliva that is due to inadequate vertical dimension allergy pigment or residual monomer of the denture resin may cause allergy well here we are going to discuss common complaints about the comfort of denture and their causes and treatment so it is in the form of a chart complaints sore spots in the vestibule we are firstly discussing the sore spots potential causes overextension <clears throat> well if overextension adjusts the denture using the disclosing paste or disclosing wax unpolished or sharp edge then polish the denture borders sore spots posterior limit of the maxillary denture there could be three reasons posterior wall seal to it is too deep or the sh sharp wall seal or over extension so treat accordingly identify the area using the disclosing uh, wax or pip and relieve the high pressure area sharp areas then round off the sharp areas over extension adjust the peripheral extension single sore spot over the ridge usually question in the board exams come on this it is either due to high occlusion only in that area or maybe bubbles of acrylic or which we call the nodules of acrylic in that area so if this is the situation check with articulating paper and adjust the occlusion also if you don't find any problem and you feel that there would be some nodules of acrylic in that area inspect denture under good light to detect surface roughness then remove and polish lightly well if there is soreness under labial flange there would be these three problems like causes of the problem excessive overbite habit mastication in protrusive relation or over extended labial flange so we have to deal accordingly if there is excessive overbite reseed the maxillary anterior teeth habit mastication in protrusive well tell your patient that and train them to masticate in the centric relation over extended labial flange we have to adjust that soreness under the lingual flange of mandibular denture there could be two possible reasons centric occlusion is not in harmony with the centric relation which drives the mandibular denture forward or over extended lingual flange so we will deal accordingly well if this problem sent co and c are not matching if only it is a slight problem it can be corrected take the new maxillomandibular records remount and selective grinding could be done if there is over extension apply pressure indicating paste to denture periphery adjust the peripheral extension well generalized soreness over the alveolar ridge it could be because of excessive vertical dimension usually questions they come on this thing so we have to keep this thing in our mind or in accurate denture base so if this is the situation if the occlusal plane of the upper is judged to be 
correct make a new lower denture to the decreased vertical dimension otherwise new upper and lower dentures are going to be constructed in accurate denture base it is better to go for new dentures but old ones can be rebased if the occlusion is adequate now the burning sensation what, what would be the complaints possible complaints and what could be the potential causes and what would be the treatment in that case burning sensation anterior hard palate and anterior alveolar ridge areas there could be pressure over the anterior palatine foramen relief should be given over the foramen rugi lip and side of the tongue area if there, that area is having burning sensation then climactric anxiety and uh, ariboflavinosis these could be the reasons large dose of vitamin b complex taking the denture out and holding a piece of ice in the mouth will provide a temporary relief in the premolar to molar area in pressure on the posterior palatine foramen relief area uh, should be over the foramen in the lower anterior ridge pressure on the mental foramen relief should be given over the mental foramen redness a fiery redness of all tissue contacted by the denture including tongue and cheek it could be because of denture base allergy methyl methacrylate allergy though it is very uncommon problem in that case remake the denture use some other material especially you can go for a metallic denture base again check if the metallic denture base is not going to give allergy to the patient redness of the denture bearing tissue it would be because of ill-fitting denture or maybe a vitaminosis so remake or rebase the denture if it is ill-fitting denture if patient is having a vitaminosis then give them vitamin therapy pain in the tmj area insufficient vertical dimension of occlusion centric occlusion is not in harmony with the centric relation arthritis or trauma these are the major causes of pain in tmj well in case of insufficient vertical dimension increase the vertical dimension if centric occlusion is in not not in harmony with centric relation correct the occlusion either by selective grinding or remaking the denture patient is having arthritis discuss with the physician and well they will put them on the NSAIDs if patient is having a trauma of course then we have to deal accordingly now tongue and cheek biting potential reasons posterior teeth they are either in edge to edge insufficient horizontal overlap treatment is recontour the buccal surface of mandibular molars and premolars to increase the horizontal overlap and buccal overjet overclosure restore the vertical dimension changes in the occlusal plane leading to cheek and tongue biting new dentures should be made with proper occlusal height posterior teeth which are placed too far buccal leading to the cheek biting then recontour the buccal surface of the upper molars in some cases it may be necessary to remove the last molar tooth posterior teeth too far lingually placed reduction of the tongue space the tongue is the tongue is now cramped into the uh, between the teeth leading to tongue biting reestablish the adequate tongue space loss of muscle tonus which we call lax cheeks leads to cheek biting build out thin denture base or extend the under extended borders tongue biting may occur in patients with epilepsy well then we have to discuss with the their physician and they will treat the cause whatever the situation anti-epileptic drugs will be given to them of course it is not falling under our jurisdiction we have to send them to the physician then swallowing and sore throat maxillary denture complaint there would be overextension of the posterior border or too thick posterior border so either adjust the posterior border extension or make the thin posterior border mandibular denture over extension of the posterior lingual flange area or too thick lingual posterior flanges reduce the thickness or adjust the posterior lingual flange area 
treat accordingly. Insufficient vertical dimension of the occlusion increase the, increase the vertical dimension. Excessive vertical dimension of occlusion reduce the vertical dimension or remake the dentures. Posterior teeth set inside the ridge. Tongue is crowded. Reset teeth in the correct position or reconstruct the denture with the proper setting. Now, nausea and gagging. Complaint would be immediately upon denture placement. In case of maxillary denture, it could be overextension, especially in the platelet uh, seal area. It could be too thick posterior border. So, treatment accordingly adjust the denture or thin posterior border, reduce the thickness of distolingual flange, or prescribe a mild. Again, this is not a very good solution. But at times, some anti gagging could, uh, medicine could help them for the temporary relief. But don't prescribe anything which could be addicting. Mandibular denture, distolingual or uh, flanges too thick, again, the same type of treatment. There could be very rare some psychogenic factors. If those then discuss the things with the patient and tell them that with the passage of time, you will feel better. If it is delayed two weeks to months after denture placement, there would be incomplete border sealing, allowing the saliva under the denture or faulty occlusion causing denture to loosen and allowing saliva under the denture. So improve the border seal or if in case of occlusion problem, correct the occlusion. Deafness. It is due to overclosure of vertical dimension, increase the vertical dimension. If patient is wearing the denture for so long and the occlusal surfaces are worn out, then it is better to reconstruct a new denture. Well, uh, Fatigue of the muscles of mastication, it is due to vertical dimension. Patient will feel that the dentures in their mouth, they are too high. So potential causes excessive vertical dimension of the occlusion or insufficient vertical dimension of the occlusion. So treat accordingly, either in case of excessive, reduce the vertical dimension or in case of insufficient, then increase the vertical dimension. Now, complaints about functions of the denture, causes and treatment. Complain, instability or poor fit, looseness of the maxillary denture. First of all, complain when the teeth are not coming in occlusion. Potential causes, overextension of denture borders and posterior limit. So adjust the denture border extension. Underextended denture borders then correct with autopolymerizing acrylic resin but check with compound for diagnostic purposes or you may send it to the lab for the relining or rebasing loss of posterior wall seal wall seal on hard palate or posterior limit not in the hamilton notches or insufficient wall seal all these could be the reason so improve the posterior palatal seal area dehydration of tissue due to alcoholism well discuss with the patient and whatever the treatment, whatever the guidance they seek, you can guide them accordingly. Flabby tissue displaced when making impression. Correct surgically or change the impression technique and construct the new denture. Underfilled buccal vestibule, correct the flange thickness. Now, when occluding in centric, there could be chances of malocclusion. High occlusion in the premolar area, premature individual tooth contact, high occlusion on one side of the arch, selectively adjust the occlusion. Poor denture foundation due to flabby tissues, correct surgically or change the denture as we have already discussed with better impression technique. Incorrect tooth position, teeth set too far buckly, reset the teeth in the correct position, Centric occlusion not in harmony with centric relation. Selectively adjust the occlusion. Non-yielding area in heart palate, torus, palatinus will provide sufficient relief for that uh, tori. Dislodgement of maxillary denture during function. The potential causes would be overfilled buccal vestibule, Treatment would be allow the proper flange thickness. Overextension in the hamular notch area, correct the border extension, 
then inadequate notches for frenum attachment allow sufficient clearance for frenum attachments excessively thick tension base over the distal buccal alveolar tubercle reduce the thickness of the distal ends of the buccal flanges placing the maxillary anterior teeth too far labially reset the teeth placing the maxillary posterior teeth too far buccally then reset the teeth whatever the situation whether they are more lingual or they are more labial or they are more buccal you have to deal with that placing the posterior teeth palatal seal too deep well identify the pressure area using the disclosing paste or wax and provide the sufficient relief lack of occlusal disharmony correct the occlusal disharmony by selective grinding when you are incising the food and they get dislodged there could be loss of posterior wall seal improve the posterior palatal seal anterior teeth placed too far labially reset the teeth in the correct position poor denture foundation correct the surgically uh, corrected surgically or change the denture improper incising habits or you train the patient to masticate in centric or you have not provided patient the balanced articulation while constructing the denture when yawning or opening wide denture base would be too thick in buccal posterior area denture is could be overextended in the hamular notch area so we have to deal accordingly either reduce the thickness of the denture base in case of this or shorten the denture under terigo mandibular ligament does not exert extension uh, tension on the posterior border when mouth is going to be open wide well dislodgement when patient is talking there would be inadequate posterior palatal seal or overextension in the posterior region so deal accordingly increase the posterior palatal seal with auto polymerizing acrylic resin or relining process and or adjust the posterior overextension if it is overextended then looseness of the mandibular denture peripheral overextension potential causes in the masseter groove area adjust the denture accordingly or in the lateral di uh, direction beyond the external oblique ridge again adjust the denture accordingly in the lingual or uh, flanges or in the retromolar area so you have to adjust the denture accordingly tight lips remake the lower anterior uh, with the lower anterior teeth set more lingually with a labially concavity on the denture and with maximum extension in the region of the retromolar pad or vestibuloplasty may be considered then lower posterior teeth or they are set lingually leading to cramping of the tongue reduce the width of the lower posterior teeth by grinding of the lingual cusps under the extension and lack of peripheral seal correct the under extension placing the occlusal plane too high remake the denture with proper occlusal plane height improper contour of the polished surface recontour the polished surface lack of saliva well then you have to go for the palliative treatment like artificial saliva or uh, sucking on the sour candy or pilocarpine or whatever interferences when swallowing maxillary denture too thick or overextended in posterior region reduce the thickness or adjust the posterior region mandibular tensions too thick or overextended in the posterior lingual region reduce the thickness or adjust the posterior lingual flange area insufficient vertical dimension of occlusion increase the vertical dimension excessive vertical dimension of occlusion reduce the vertical dimension incorrect tooth position you have to reset the teeth clicking sound potential causes would be excessive vertical dimension again question comes in the board exams on that treatment reduce vertical dimension use the acrylic resin teeth denture with poor retention and stability rebase or remake the dentures in case of cuspal interferences eliminate the cuspal interferences by selective grinding excessive incisal guidance correct the occlusion complaints about aesthetics of the denture causes and treatment fullness under the nose i have already explained about that potential cause would be labial flange or up, up of the upper denture could be too long or too thick treatment would be reduce the length or thickness of the labial flange but usually most of the patients when they are edentulous for quite some time they 
start complaining after having the denture that there is fullness under the nose you have to educate them during the uh, construction of denture that this is going to happen a little bit fullness is going to be restored in this area and when you are going to do the try in tell your patient that your uh, finished dentures would be like this depressed philtrum or nasolabial sulcus labial flange is too short or too thin treatment increase the length or thickness of labial flange upper lip feels sunken in maxillary anterior teeth set too far lingually reset the anterior teeth too much of the teeth exposed excessive vertical dimension reduce the vertical dimension incisal plane is too low reset the teeth at higher plane cuspids and laterals are too prominent correct the tooth prominence usually this too much of the exposure is not easily corrected it is better to reconstruct the denture in a proper way artificial look technique set up teeth are too regular in alignment so a little bit uh, you can say uh, not proper uh, setup or a little bit deviation from the proper setup may give a little bit better uh, natural look set up individualized by rotating and shortening few teeth as i told you all teeth have same shade choose different shades especially in the canine area canines usually in the natural dentition especially after certain age they start having more chroma so better to go for higher chroma in the canine area lack of grinding incisal edges and angles grinding incisal and uh, angle, uh, edges and angles to give a more individualized appearance it will give a more natural type of appearance if you will grind the incisal edges if like a patient who is elderly and you provide the teeth with proper mammalons and all that with very sharp incisal edges of course they will look unnatural then comes the complaints about phonetics you will get a separate lecture on phonetics as well but over here whistle on a sound too large air space on the anterior part of the palate treatment reshape the anterior part of the palate by thickening the denture base lisping sound on s sound too small anterior space thin plateau lingual area indistinct th and t sounds inadequate interoclusal space reduce the thickness of plateau of maxillary denture and lingual of mandibular denture base reduce the vertical dimension t it sounds like th like instead of ten the patient would be saying thun up upper anterior teeth they are far lingually reset the teeth buckly or facially uh, then f and v sounds are indistinct well improper position of the upper anterior teeth either vertically or horizontally reset the teeth either vertically or horizontally so that they contact the lower lip at its highest point during these sounds most common areas requiring adjustment maxillary the most common area hamlet notches there would be ulceration uh, if they will be overextension in the hamlet notches labial frenum requires adequate relief often feels too bulky to the patient the maxillary labial frenum is the most common frenum to become irritated from the denture overextension. It needs relief. Most common areas requiring adjustment we are discussing maxillary midline uh, fulcrum on the bony raft. This needs relief. Zygomatic impingement. Most common areas we are discussing mandibular lingual frenum. Impingement can cause displacement of the denture or may lead to ulceration of the frenum then lesions associated with anterior mandibular denture border corresponding correspond to the pip pattern you can see over here give the relief then again in the mandibular retromyelohyoid overextension sore throat would be another complaint denture moves when swallowing you need to uh, check the myelohyoid ridge area and buccal shelf overextension as well common problems and their solutions problem trapped movable tissue pinching reline or rebase is the solution sore throat too much posterior palatal seal reduce and polish sore throat overextended lingual frame reduce and polish excessive opening open video reset the teeth to a closed video 
clicking of the teeth grind the teeth to reduce the video reset the teeth or repaste the denture denture looseness grind to reduce the vertical then reset the teeth and rebase educate the patient tongue feels cramped then reset the teeth and rebase and educate the patient rough surfaces on the denture is smooth and polish the area or repair then comes cheek biting conservatively uh, conservatively grind mandibular buckle contours reset the upper teeth to overlap lowers more and rebase food adherence recontour and polish educate the patient collapsed appearance reset the teeth expand arch and remake the denture check it is cracked or broken teeth correct occlusion repair and replace the teeth and re-educate the patient face appears too full reset the teeth and rebase or educate the patient i have already mentioned about it lip wrinkles this is anatomy hand has no treatment so educate the patient sore spot mark with the indelible transfer stick and reduce or use the uh, pip pressure indicating paste so over here we are done with this lecture hopefully this lecture is going to help you and you will be able to answer all the questions uh, in the board exams as well as those who are practicing uh, complete dentures this lecture will help them in finding out the uh, most common and treating most common uh, post insertion complaints especially in the complete denture uh, or in long span partial denture removable partial dentures thank you very much